So we've been talking about electric charge and electric charge configurations. And this problem um, gives you two identical metal spheres and the charge on each of them. And it asks you what the charge is in electrons, so the number of electrons in each one. And then it also asks you what happens if you take these two spheres, touch them together, and pull them apart. What does that look like? So it gives you the charge on one of them is negative 2.4 times 10 to the negative 17th coulombs. The coulomb is a really actually big unit, um, as evidenced by the fact that the charge on one electron, which you need to know for this problem, is negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So there's a lot of electrons in a coulomb. The second one is negative 4.8 times 10 to the negative 17th coulombs. So the things that you need to know for this problem you need to know that if you touch them together, they reach equilibrium. That means that the charge on both of them will be the same. That's what they want to do. Nature wants to reach equilibrium. So when you're finding out the number of electrons on each sphere, you're just going to use this as a conversion factor. You're going to say, I've got 2.4 times 10 to the negative 17th coulombs. And then I know that one electron has 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So you know that the number of electrons on sphere number one is 150. And you can cheat a little bit and say, hey, I just saw that that is twice that. So you can say that the, one on, the number of electrons on sphere number two is just twice that, which is 300. And then to figure out what the final charge is, you basically just average them. They want to reach equilibrium. So you just add the charge, divide by 2, and you get that the final charge on each sphere is negative 3.6 times 10 to the negative 17th coulombs. And then you do the same thing to figure out the number of electrons. Or if you're like me, you can say, I know that this has 150 and this has 300. So you can just average them. So you get that the final number of electrons on each sphere is 225. Hopefully that helps you understand a little bit more about charges and how they behave on things like metal sphere conductors.